Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. I had COVID, and as we all know, COVID sucks. Um, today, it's back to basics, just a walk around my neighborhood. Okay, so come along for the walk. It's, it's just going to be you, me, and the GR3. Let's go. This is a little temple. It's right next to my, right next to my apartment. You know, I've been here in this apartment for maybe uh, three years, and I've never been. I've never been in here. I'm gonna go and have a look. This car is right kind of uh, next to that temple. It's been here for, well, ever since I've been living here, it's been here. And look, look, why, why don't they just, why don't they just get rid of it, you know? <laughs> why don't they just get rid of it? This place here, just across, just across from my apartment, it's um, a building with a mural on the side. See, see the bird on the side, and we've got a shadow that's running across like this. It's a Japanese restaurant. It's got the beautiful. It's got the beautiful. Uh, panels here on the side. Can you see that up there? Japanese beer. Pleasing about this door. I don't know why this garage, but it's, it just seems slightly strange proportions and I like the colour of the, I like the colour of the door. We don't always have to have fancy, fancy photographs, just take the photo of something you like. The back of this building up here, the back of it. You guys might recognize this place from uh, from an earlier video, Render Street Market. Render Street Market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but I'm not afraid. 
everywhere you look, there are photographs. I like the way the light is hitting the, the buildings over there. This one's something interesting in the front here. with this political poster and then the, the, the street itself, the buildings with a light. Yeah. Actually in manual mode, but it's kind of like a faux manual mode because I'm using ISO auto. Um, so what I want to do now is I'll drop the shutter speed down to like 1 30th and I want to try and get some movement. Try and get a little bit of movement. The line, see the line? I think I want to underexpose this a bit. Maybe minus. Minus one EV. The video is not, is not to just shoot the market, so I have to drag myself away. I could literally spend hours, I could spend hours there because there's so much going on, but I wanna purposely move on to a different part of the city, so let's move. It's with a preset, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm using U1. Um, so what I've got here, it's, it's manual mode, okay? And the, the basics is 125th of a second, F8, and then the ISO is on auto. Wait. And um, the, the, the focus is set to manual, and I've got it set so that on F8, it gives me one meter all the way to infinity, which is really, really useful because you don't have to worry about focus. Right here is foreground, foreground, mid-ground, and then background, okay? I think, I think the fire hydrant is the best shot, like that. Taya Bookstore. I like the angle, the way it sweeps around like this. This is a famous uh, Japanese bookstore. Um, and yeah, they have a lot of cool books inside. You can go and look and look at them for free, actually. There, there's a lot of art books in, in this one. Uh, English art books. and curves and stuff like this this one's going to be really distorted because of the wide angle and the perspective Patterns, look for light. The light, the other way it comes through, I like that. And then we've got this doorway. The 
doorway is beautiful actually the door the, this doorway is very beautiful the light the way it comes across so Anne my favorite kind of light we have a lamppost here a light and then behind it the the building I'm probably going to do a crop on this I would say in post so we want it right between those two there for whatever reason my camera went a little crazy here it went into kind of like uh, time-lapse mode or something anyway I wanted to get the building here at the end my dad and I wanted to get that big department store like this again guys the video went uh, into kind of uh, high speed here so um, I want to talk a little bit about this sign I, I saw this sign and it's, it's from TransAsia Airlines who actually went broke back in um, 2016 I believe and it's because of the fact that they had a couple of crashes due to operational procedures if you go on to YouTube and search for TransAsia crashes you'll see a story about what happened there was one in Taipei where the plane hit a taxi and there was one um, on the islands just off the west coast of Taiwan Pongu Islands anyway go and check it out at the end of the video of course not now They do have a certain charm though. The sink, the, the scooter, the light coming in from behind. It's like a little temple here. Like a little temple. Isn't it? Fishing nice? here. The corner of the roofs, that one. And then the department store behind. Definitely something there. This might just be my best shot today, I think. Right, this don't forget to kind of work it a bit. Make sure to get different angles on things. they would fix up some of these old houses. Selling something here from this uh, bicycle. Not sure what. This is Gaosheng Buddhist Hall. Gaosheng Buddhist Hall. Let's go in and have a look. I want to be, try to get get rid of the, uh, <laughs> the the tower block behind it. Yeah, maybe there I can crop it out.
one needs to have a, a focal point there. Okay, hey, back home now. But about five miles walk, I think, today, so that's pretty good. Um, thank you for joining me on this little walk, and I hope you learned something useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you didn't already do so, because I really need to get to that 1,000 subscribers. Um, and please leave some comments below because I'm always interested to hear what you think and if you have any suggestions for future videos then please leave them below in the comments and don't forget to like this video okay see you in the next one